To truly know a city, we must know who believes in it, who invests in it, who has a stake in its future. This is Detroit. It is a city where something quite remarkable is taking place, something unique in the history of cities. For here on these 33 acres of riverfront property, Detroit State of Mind is on the air! Bringing you the sounds of Detroit's underground, straight to your ear holes, rock, punk, and metal. If it's Detroit, you'll hear it here. Unless you're a dick. dick. And now, your overlords, Rich and Dave. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Episode twenty-two. Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling twenty-two. Damn, I was Put just about look. to do that. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have this crazy. Uh, 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 Elaine and I were talking about doing this like acoustic thing. It was a couple months ago or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like that. I, I think it's a great idea. Blah blah blah. And there was supposed to be one other person here, but she had to. Uh, she had to cancel. She had she personal had reasons. Pri- yeah. Prior th- she things. Had stuff going on. Yeah, yes. shit, shit going on. Yeah. Yes. So we have Elena, Keelan, and Kayla. Yeah. 
see. What up, Sometimes ladies? shit going on makes for good art, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna get a real good song out of it. Oh, she's, she's probably gonna get a whole album. <laughs> that's gonna be out of that. That's yeah, she wrote that. it today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you yeah. go. She's working on it right now. <laughs> right. Well, apparently she has nothing else to do. So I mean, ooh, that was too soon. Oof. <laughs> too soon. Too Whoa. soon. Whoa. No, we love, we love her. With Whoa. peace and love. Whoa. Peace and love. Just playing. Peace Always. Love. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, go around the table. Tell us who you are. And oh, okay. we already know what you're doing. So yeah, exactly. my name is Elena. Um, Welcome I, back. Yeah, hi. I'm a musician, kind of, and um, I've Stop. been a, <laughs> I've been a songwriter <laughs> for about eleven years now. Um, you know, just singing my sad little fucking songs forever. Not all of them are sad, but most of them are pretty dark or sad. You know, dark is good. A little bit. You know, the first song I ever wrote was about killing myself. So oh, God. <laughs> that, that's what should tell you about where my music is. <laughs> yeah, just here, let's direction. start this there podcast with like a little suicide, you know? <laughs> We're starting out light. <laughs> I'll move on before it gets any worse. Oh, when I look God. in the mirror, all I see is suicide. <laughs> Sponsored oh, by Smith & Wesson. I never thought. <laughs> you know that song? No. <laughs> the Blink-182 song? Yeah. Blink-182? Am I next? Yeah. Yes, you, you are. are. Okay, yeah, my we name's... Will go in order. Uh, Keelan Starr. I'm also a singer, songwriter, musician, play guitar. I've only been doing this like professionally for two years now, but I've been singing my whole life. So, yeah, I'm a newbie, but she's a baby. Yeah, I'm a newbie to the oh, music baby. scene, but you know, it's been really cool and fun, like good learning experience. And, and this is my first her. podcast. I'm so excited. Woo. You're nice. her mom. It won't yeah. be your last. Trust we me. We are her oh, moms. Yeah. We are her music moms. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Like you guys have yeah. helped me so We've much. Adopted. Yeah. yeah. For sure. We adopted. Yeah, we just got the paper. <laughs> yeah, around. literally. Yeah. Like, they're my musical parents now. Yeah, but Loki, like your mom is like my BFF. I freaking love your mom. Oh, my mom's the best. Oh, she's, she's yeah, great. she's great. she's awesome. Did you get your cabbage patch birth certificate? Yes, actually. Yes. I got it in the mail yesterday. <laughs> like the Build-A-Bear oh, thing? Yeah. <laughs> We're changing your last yeah. name, by the way. It's going to oh, be okay. what, Drange Will. Will Drange. Will Drange. Will Drange. Well, I have to keep Star. I always have to keep the Star, but then Star will Star Will Drange. Will Drange. Yeah, oh, that's not bad. That's kind of sick. It's kind of a mouthful. Though. <laughs> I know. Could you imagine on the poster, Star Will Drange? Yeah, it's like four <laughs> so bands, but much. just you. It's just me. <laughs> it's just my acoustic set. All right. Each, each yeah. word's a different logo. I paid yeah. 10 bucks for one person. This is bullshit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I thought this was a band. <laughs> right. Nope, it's just me. <laughs> Drop your beer and walk out. Right. Yeah. And what about you, young lady? Yeah, young lady. I'm. Uh, my name is Kayla Drange. I am also a musician. That seems to be the theme here, you know. Um, I've been doing it for about eleven years too. Uh, and so I started off by doing like just solo acoustic coffee house type gigs, and then I joined um, like a rock duo, kind of like a White Stripes type thing uh, for a while. And then I started Stage Drive um, in 2019 with a different lineup. And then I met Elena um, over the summer. I want to say in June, July. July 11th. Oh, yeah. It's our friend anniversary, July 11th. By the guys remember the date. Wow. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so then now I have a new lineup. So now I'm doing my solo stuff on the side, and then I'm also focusing on the band. Uh, but yeah, I've yeah. been doing it for a while. Yeah. So what got, what got you into it? Like from birth, whatever? Were you singing as a baby? Yeah. Well, okay. So in my family, literally nobody has any musical bones in their body. So yeah, I same don't, here. Yeah. Same. Like no same. one. Same. Yeah. My dad is like half deaf, cannot catch. Like if you, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man, if he listens to a song, he's clapping off beat and I'm sitting there looking disgusted. Like who raised you? <laughs> what, what are you? We're not the same family. Maybe you need to be his mom. I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to adopt him too. You know, it's gonna yeah. you. I'm going to have <laughs> my musical family. Yeah, exactly. Um, my dad. <laughs> but yeah i got into it uh i don't even know i got my first guitar when i was about eight or nine um and it was like this little white first act acoustic and i'm not even kidding my first song i remember i still have my song book was called behind these eyes and i couldn't play any chords because i never took lessons i'm self-taught um but my first song was literally just me strumming like the top e string over and over and over again with my thumb it was a disaster do you have but any you recordings know, of that i do uh, somewhere i do somewhere you need to keep that, that stuff. stuff. Yeah. 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 We're not going to look back on that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring it back and revamp it. Yeah. Some B-sides. Revamp it. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Um, but yeah, so I started playing uh, guitar when I was about eight or nine. And then I never took lessons. So I don't think I took it seriously until a couple years later. You know, I was like looking up tutorials on my Nintendo DS. Like, how do you play a D chord? You know? Right. <laughs> uh, and then I started, uh, my brother had, I have a twin brother. He had a drum kit that I would always kind of fool around with. So that kind of got me started. What about you, Keelan? I've been singing my whole life. I've been singing and dancing pretty much my whole life since I could talk. Um, and then uh, I have horrible stage fright. 
So I remember. Are you I freaking out today? A little bit, yeah. Really? I still she get real nervous. nervous. It's yeah. two of your friends and two idiots. I don't know why. <laughs> I still get super the anxious. The but um, I've never had that problem. I don't know. So I sat at this open mic that was right by my house. My Mike Carey actually told me about it. I don't know if you guys know him. That's my boy. Yeah, Mike yeah, Carey. the music store? Yeah. Music store, yeah. 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 I work there, by the way. Yeah. yeah, she works there. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll get to you. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> He told me about an open mic because I had just walked in there, got my first guitar ever. This was when I was like 19. I'm 22 now. And he was like, you should check out this open mic. I sat there for probably six months and watched everybody sing. I didn't sing once. And then the guy hosting it was like, do you sing? Do you do anything? Like, what's your deal? You're what here you every do? week. Yeah, why are you yeah, here? Yeah, why are you yeah. here? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, dude, what is this? So he eventually pulled me up on stage with him, got me to sing a couple songs, and he's like, you need to come back. Did you play guitar that time or just No, sing? he played guitar for me. I remember it was Simple Man by Leonard Skinner because I knew oh, all the words. One. I was like, I can do this one. He pulled me up on stage. I was shaking. I was terrified. There wasn't even that many people in the bar, but I was like, oh my God, I have to sing in front of people. I hadn't done it and probably since I was like six, you know, I haven't performed in front of anybody. So yeah, I started doing that. And then I started doing more and more open mics and it was called TV's grand event. And then they ended up booking me with my friend Steven cause we do a duo. So, uh, he plays guitar and everything, but yeah, we started doing that. And then I started like branching off and doing my own thing and started doing the acoustic stuff. And now I host my own open mic in track. Good you girl. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's called, uh, Mr. Nick's in trenton and, and yeah. does does that make you uh like nervous anxious doing that every week no or i love doing that it's really fun are you the mc yeah i'm the host and it's it's really cool because i get to meet a whole bunch of new musicians and you know try out my new stuff and we all feed off of each other that's where me and elena actually mm-hmm. first met we were friends on facebook i told her to come up and then uh we just hit it off and then she brought Love Kayla in. Sight. Yeah, literally. Now we're a throuple. <laughs> yeah, I, literally. She was like, you seem cool. Let's hang out. And I was like, <laughs> and then it just, you know, snowballed from there. And now we have this whole thing going. So, yeah, it's been it's been a journey. What about a three-piece band with y'all? Whoa. We talked well, about okay, yeah. that's in the hold works on, on, right on. now. So we're, we're thinking about starting an all-girl punk band with one other girl. Drum. Let's go. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So that might be happening um, possibly like starting in like this summer. Summer, yeah. for sure. But no acoustic plans, because like you guys, you guys all sing like freaking angels, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> pretty freaking good. I like to think that I'm a little bit more of a fallen angel, <laughs> <laughs> scraped up from hell <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, a little bit straight. From you got to come from somewhere. Yeah, Speaking right. of which, where did you come from? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so I didn't. I started playing music um, when I was about 14 or 15. I actually started writing like short stories and poetry at a very young age when I was like eight, seven, eight, nine. And um, I was a slam poet for a little bit. And um, da, da, I, da, 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 sorry. <laughs> people like snap. And um, yeah, like an old jazz. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, like the little. No clapping. Yeah. <laughs> like a little like <laughs> drum circle sort so of shit. So you just shit. made fun of people and shit? Or, or, or like, like. No, no, like, no, like, no. Like, um, so um, I, I don't. I just recited poetry, you know, and like that was my thing. And. Um, what, what makes it slam poetry, though? Maybe I'm not hip to this. Uh... Oh, slam poetry is just, it's a poetry recitation, but it's usually, um, it's, not, it's not a reading because you're not reading, you're like performing. Okay. Yeah. You're performing a poem. You've mm-hmm. seen it, for sure. I guess I just wasn't hip to that uh, that term <laughs> as, as much as I thought I was. Yeah. So, like, I did, like, some competitions in high school and stuff. That was pretty fun. Um, uh, but anyways, I sort of, like, segued into music through that. Um, I started writing lyrics and I was like, Hey, you know, I should learn how to play something. Like I have all these ideas bouncing around in my head and I wrote all these like lyrics and melodies and stuff. And I kind of always like liked singing, but I was really shy and I was always told that I couldn't sing. Like, Screw them. Well, they lied to you. <laughs> Screw them. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason I finally just, uh, decided to start to sing was, um, I heard this song, um, when I was like, you know, like 11 or 12, like I was just surfing through YouTube and there was this band called the Dresden Dolls who were like cabaret punk and they had this song called sing and I was listening to it and I was like, man, this bitch cannot sing. If she can't <laughs> sing, I, like if she can do it, if she can make a career off of this, I could fucking if she do could it. Suck, I could also, suck just no, as good. Can, <laughs> also, also, also it was an inspirational song. That's like, you, you know, everybody can sing, just fucking sing. Right. That's mm-hmm. what the whole point of the song was. But I was also like, man, like 
what the fuck? This is easy. I could do this. You know? <laughs> right. In my um, old band, we used to have a big poster on the wall and just, you can sing. Yeah. Everybody can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I started um, first on uh, keys and piano. Um, I did like the eighth grade talent show. That was like my first time performing for anybody. The did you win? was floating around. It wasn't a competition. <laughs> it was just a show, dude. I thought talent show, there's a winner. Yeah, mine had no. a winner. Yeah. yeah all, I, I sang Hannah Montana. I, don't, I didn't I win, don't think ours had, I don't think ours had a winner. <laughs> you know, I don't um, think my what, like high school ball? had a winner either. No, I sang Nobody's Perfect. It was a bop. <laughs> oh, Nobody's my God. Perfect. I sang, I sang I Evanescence. I sang Evanescence. Bring me to life? No, I sang oh. Hello by Evanescence off Hello. of their first oh. record. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I played Hello. keys and it was really bad. Anyways. Um, That's probably why I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I had almost the same haircut too, except a little bit more blunt. Um, But uh, uh, I picked up guitar. Um, I begged and begged and begged my parents for a guitar for a long time. And uh, my grandpa finally gave me some acoustic he had in his uh, like basement or whatever he didn't play i don't know why he had it um i guess he tried messing with it when he was younger but um because no one in my family is musical so there was no one to really guide me into it you still it. have that guitar yeah nice it's scratched up and covered in stickers and, yeah oh yeah um i named him nathan nathan wallace <laughs> after um, <laughs> what's wallace. the story behind that um he's named after a character from a rock opera <laughs> I am not familiar. <laughs> Called Repo the Genetic Opera. <laughs> no. What is that? <laughs> no, I don't know, great. but I want to know. Great. I know. It's great. It's from like the 2000s. It's got Paris Hilton in it. And she's like this like. Oh, it's got to be good then. She's like oh. this like rich girl drug addict, like in bondage gear and stuff. So and she's she playing sings. Paris Hilton. Yeah, literally yeah. Paris Hilton. <laughs> she's just herself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good movie. But um, yeah, so. I I play bass, you know. I play. Um, I'm I st- I started learning drums recently. Um, I'm learning to produce. Um, and I play. I I currently teach. I teach guitar, bass, and ukulele at Mike Carey Music. And uh, is that your full time job then, or? I think it's not full time. It's part time. Right. On. That's my day job. Yeah. Right on. Cool. What's wrong with that? Shit. Nothing. <laughs> Teacher by Lucky. day, rock star by night. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. yeah. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. But Mike's a good guy. So yeah, we boy. love Mike. I had to shout him out because I was like, if I, if he didn't tell me about that open mic, none of this would be happening right now. Right. So <laughs> shout is out that, to him. Is that that store uh, down river that has like all the old amps in it yeah. and everything? Yeah. 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 He's I got see, everything. Yeah, I see people going in there all, That's all where time I got make, that making videos. Too. I literally, I will not go to Guitar Center anymore. Like I get everything from there. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you know about this store? I do not, but I want to know. This guy has like oh, 30s, yeah. 40s amps, just wall, kind of like Paul's house. But He's like, got everything. Mm-hmm. Crazy Literally vintage everything. shit. The oldest yeah. one I got is 1945. It's the oldest stamp I have. That might be new for him. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, dude, he's got some crazy stuff. Dude. Yeah. I would, you could ask him for like the most out. obscure instrument. And I swear to God, that man would have it. Yeah. <laughs> I told him I, I went yeah. there uh, to pick up my telly because I got new pickups in my telly. Uh, and I was leaving and I said, you know, I'll be back. I have a, you know, a bunch of things that I need. And he's like, just text me a list. I'll have it ready for you. And I was like, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind of pickups you put in? Because I, I have a telly uh, myself. Lindy Fralin. Is that how you say it? Lindy Fralin? Yeah. Mm. They're really, really nice. As opposed to the stock ones? Uh, yeah, the stock ones. It just... Uh, so I like Telecasters, but it just... It's too twangy for the music that we're playing in our band. So yeah. I wanted new pickups and it sounds so much better now. It sounds great. It's like more rock oriented Yeah, then? more rock. They're a lot hotter. Like it's it sounds really good. Nice. I wasn't a fan of the twang. Not trying to play some yeehaw shit, you know? That's kind of why I bought the Telecaster. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a Les Paul, but I, I like that different tone of, yeah. uh, of a Telly. It's the just, two sound good with the Gibson it, and the Telly. It's mm-hmm. night and day, though. Yeah, no, it really is, yeah. Like, I usually, uh, on stage, I'll play my Ibanez, because, so, like, the Ibanez S-Series is known for being super, super lightweight, and I do this thing where I play behind my back, and I can't flip my Telecaster behind my back, because it's so much heavier than that. Well, man up a little bit. I'm, dude, I'm trying to, I gotta, gotta sling it back there, man. I gotta go to the gym, man. Right. get built. (laughs) Trying to get swole. I saw that picture the other day. I don't don't know who posted this, if it was you or whatever. Like, you got this back here, and the is, like, all lean back. Yeah. That, That is my favorite picture I think we've ever had taken on stage. So she was like doing this back. And okay, the funny thing about that, ow, picture is that I did it. Beating yourself did that, up. Did that foam hurt you? Uh, yes. So the funny thing about that picture is that we didn't know. We knew we were going to do that at some point, but we didn't know when we were going to do that. And I was facing the crowd, so I didn't know what she was doing. And to be honest, we were both kind of a little tipsy on stage. Oh, man. Yeah. So yeah, that was. We fucked up. We did fuck up. <laughs> during, um, we do Dirty Deeds by ACDC. And during that, we do this thing. 
on stage where I pour a shot into her mouth. So it was literally one shot of Fireball split into but two. We've so, been drinking previously. Yeah, we were <laughs> <laughs> for like the last hour before that. Um, and then I don't know after that shot, I was just like, man. <laughs> A little was, tipsy, huh? We yeah. were a little tipsy. It was a mistake for sure. I was like, never again. <laughs> Next I think, time I think by the second song, I was like on the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. I was like, <laughs> well, you where play am better I? when you're drunk. <laughs> I mean, not yeah. me. Not me. <laughs> yeah, no. no. At least you had your due. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, I mean, all of hormones, that's all I did was just get absolutely shit faced and play some power oh, chords. God. So, <laughs> I mean, it kind of works for the punk thing. It's though. the Ramones album. Cool. I, mean, I don't sure. remember most yeah. of those years, though. It's supposed to be sloppy and dirty. Of course. Yeah. Do you remember we played shows together with you? I remember playing at your oh, house Jesus once. Christ. <laughs> I remember yeah, I playing at your out. house. Um, I don't remember ever playing with you again, though. Really? All really? of it blurs like together. I, I think, wow. Yeah, it was a couple times. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. All of it blurs together. I did get a chance to play with the hormones, and I think you, you were like sitting down on the floor or some shit. Like, oh, I don't know my what the guitar fuck you... strap probably came off. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh, okay. I had a problem with those, um, the like little screw that holds the strap on would just like rip out of the Dude, guitar. Dude, toothpicks. That yeah. happened to me at uh, New Dodge, and I actually mm-hmm. fell. <gasps> it was oh, awesome. Wow. Beer went flying. Oh, shit. Dude, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Somebody asked, "Was that part of the show?" I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. He does it every, every time we play. Yeah, he planned oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so have you are you in a band currently? You said you're you're playing with a, um um another guitar player. Mm-hmm. Do you guys like play shows together or like like what's your uh what, what's your thing right Is now? Is it acoustic or electric? Yeah, it's acoustic. Uh, I'm not in a band right now, and I've always wanted to be, so that's why I reached out to them to do an all female band because I always thought that would be a really cool thing to do. And I thought like the whole punk thing. I've always wanted to be in a punk band. I thought that was. Really I want to cool. hear the argument over who's going to play bass. Oh no! It's I don't know how to play bass, so that's up to them. I'm the only one of all four girls who knows how to play bass. Yeah, if you can okay. play guitar, you can play bass, dude. Incur- I can't. That's yeah. true. I, I, I don't know. Probably bass could hack job it. I can figure it out. And weird. Just hit the root awkward. notes, dude, and just yeah. fake the rest, man. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I played for ten years. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Well, perfect. And I <laughs> right. still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. But no, I've I've never been in a band. I've always wanted to. Um, I've always done the acoustic stuff. For sure. I started out with my guitar player, Steven, because I didn't really play guitar that well and I didn't have that many songs. I only learned how to play guitar in high school. I took like a class and then the rest was like self-taught. So I didn't have enough songs to like play shows on my own. Mm -hmm. So I asked him because I met him at the TV's Grand Open Mic and I was like, hey, do you think we could work on some stuff? You know, because we've done songs together on the fly at open mics. And I was like, well, maybe we could do like a duo thing. Right. And so it kind of snowballed from there. I've done bars, restaurants, all sorts of venues. I've done street fairs. So, yeah, I've just been doing the acoustic stuff and the duo stuff. And then just now I started doing solo recently. So I think the acoustic stuff is really a good stepping stone to get into the scene. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that's how I started off, too. That's how I started. Uh, And like this scene that we're in now is completely different from the scene. That's what's cool about Michigan's music scene, though. Yeah. Is that there's so many different like niches you can be in. I just bounce scenes every couple of years. Like literally, I was in the punk scene, then I was in the metal scene, then I was in the punk scene again, like the the punk like covers tribute scene. Yeah. Now I'm in the rock scene. There you go. Acoustic scene. What's next? Rap? Yeah, actually, <laughs> dude, actually, yeah. I was in the rap scene for a uh, slight minute. Didn't we talk about this last time? Yeah, dude. Did, did I have you like drop some bars? <laughs> did, did, <laughs> did I drop bars for you? Yeah. Did I rap for you? You yeah. did. You okay. did oh something. Hey, I'll beat back. Show me what you got. <laughs> 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 no, I could do the same rap I did last time. Oh, I think nobody's heard it. it. Yeah. Oh, nobody's heard it. No. Okay. Yeah, drop, drop some bars. Some. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Shut uh, up. Well, I'm half black, half on the attack. I'm picking up the slack. I'm heaping up the pack. Cause I'm sick, sick. Must be a lunatic. Doom the slap a stick. A turn a trick. Goddamn. I'd rather take a man and take a stand. A big fuck you to the man. And if I go broke, the joke is on me. The punchline's my own damn sanity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude, that is fucking gold, dude. <laughs> that was sick. I wrote that a long time ago. Hell that yeah. was actually part of my um, hard rock metal band. That was like slight. We um, borderlined like rap rock with that. Um, that was called um, "Dying for a Living." I don't know if you guys ever heard about that band. Um, that was back um, at the tail end of me being in high school. Um, it was like a hard. I did not rock follow you in band. high school. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get arrested. I was for that. eighteen. I was eighteen. I was like eighteen, nineteen in that band. But um, 
it had to have been 30. Yeah, we did some cool <laughs> stuff. We like opened for Saliva and uh Oh wow, that's cool. Um we did a bunch of cool shows. Um we actually did a bunch of rock rap hybrid shows with like a bunch of like the insane clown posse like type rappers. Yeah. Is it like kind of like Linkin Park? Or no. not really cuz they kind of like rap. Limp Biscuit? No. No. Um, stale biscuit i'm like give us some like <laughs> bands that they're no, that you were kind of like we were not kind of like really anything um oh. it was uh well i don't know somebody once called us the poor man's pretty reckless and that's the only comparison we've ever gotten and, Buttermilk um, biscuit. <laughs> and um we actually covered an insane clown posse song we covered Which one? walk into yeah. the darkness I don't know that one. In the name of the witch, I cut the head off a mule. I got it. I put it on and then I wore it to school. That ain't the <laughs> only thing I wore. I wore clip, you know, you don't know that one? No, I don't. Walk into the darkness. I've never really been a big ICP fan. Not me either. <laughs> never got into it. <laughs> yeah. People would lose their shit when we covered that. Really? <laughs> yeah. They do have a huge freaking following, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. The producer I actually recorded my first ever like cover song with in a mm-hmm. studio. He like did a music video with them recently oh, wow. and like recorded nice. it. That's yeah. Cool. So yeah. if you guys had to pick one venue, two venues, one nationally and one within, the, within the United States or local or three or whatever, where would it be? Dream venue. What stage? Oh, God. St. Clair Shores, Rich's House. Hmm. <laughs> nobody, nobody ever says here what's, they will someday okay someday what's, they that, will. what's that one big venue in tokyo that like all the big bands go through Budokan? Budokan? Yeah, yeah that's one that'd be cool that sounds like a porno <laughs> i would definitely say LCA it's not bukkake con it's Budokan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you would say lca mm-hmm. okay just because we're from here like i would love to play at my home like big venue yeah, you know for sure what about st andrews that would be cool. Oh, that, yeah. Except yeah. they got to fix that floor first. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't I want the floor to buckle. I want everybody to die. I want that publicity, man. Yeah, did you hear that? The, yeah. The, the yeah, floors aren't buckling. They're shut down right now. Yeah. Some show last week. Or yeah. Like a week it was like one of the guys are running show. on the carpet over the hole in the floor? No, no, no. It's just happened at some other place. No, that's somewhere else. Like yesterday, they had a floor collapse out of a Yeah, I saw that. No, that's somewhere else. We're having an end of the world party there, man. The floor is just going to swallow us all up in one night. Like, we're all going There's the theatrics we're looking for. That's a But at that point, you get to play the shelf for them, too, at the same time. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) We were at Sepultura at Harpo's, and I thought the floor was going to cave in. Oh, my God. Oh, man. You could feel it, the whole building moving. Is there a basement there? Yeah, a big one. Is there? Oh, wow. Yeah. I would walk down there during the show. It's probably raining, like. Oh God! Just Realistically, though, I hope that nobody liquids. got hurt. I, hope I don't. That nobody nobody got hurt. did. I don't think that would have been on the news for sure. It didn't. Oh, it didn't yeah. even collapse. They, they just said it was it just, just kind like of buckling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but well, that building's old cooler. as shit. So yeah, yeah it's really old. Mm-hmm. 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 So what about you, Keelan? So one na- like anywhere you're saying anywhere. Well, cliche, but Madison Square Garden. That was in my head. Terrible. That'd be so cool. Somebody said Terrible. that last week. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Red Rock. That's mine. That's, that's always yeah. a good one. CBGB yeah. would be a good one, but that's not around anymore. Yeah. Didn't they move it to Vegas or something like that? That's like so a, dumb. a tourist. Yeah. Oh good. my god. Yeah. The Viper Room. I haven't heard yeah. of that one. Club Largo. It's nice well, and intimate. I was telling you cool. at uh, your last show at the Gaelic League. I want to do that big stage. Oh yeah. The Gaelic if we ever get a band actually, together, that was my first time. There, I'm not hip to that place. Cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a cool spot in Detroit. They have like one small stage that they were doing like the acoustic stuff on, and then they did like a big stage on the other side with all the bands and they would just switch on and off. Got yeah. a fireplace. Yeah. Like half of it is like library bar and half yeah. of it is just like venue. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool it's though. It's like an Irish bar. Pine Knob too. Hence, hence oh, Gaelic. Yeah. Pine I would all right. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah, that would be cool. What, Pine Knob? Oh, hell yeah. yeah it would be yeah. cool. I'd rather play uh, uh, Freedom Hill since like, it's yeah. 10 minutes oh, down the road. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw like Volbeat there once. I saw the 1975 there. That's a mini pie knob, dude. I've seen ABBA yeah. there. ABBA? <laughs> it was incredible. They I bet great. it was. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. They yeah. were awesome. I think the last show I saw there was Willie Nelson and Allison Krauss. Interesting. I think. And uh, Jason Isbell. Where? Uh, are Freedom we still, Hill? Are we still talking about Freedom Hill? <laughs> yes. I think it was probably <laughs> Slayer, wasn't it? Slayer. You're, you are correct. I think it was Slayer's last corrected. time you were there. Fucking Slayer. <laughs> last time I was there was Clutch and Primus. Can't go wrong with those two. No, it was Sweet. It's a good one. Sh- should we do the little take a break thing and then oh, we'll... Yeah. Uh, we're going to spend... Whose song, who's songs are we going to play first? Uh, do, do we got 20 of I 
Hasn't it been a hell of a rain this year? They didn't call for this much. Hasn't it been a hell of a rain? Hasn't it been enough? We're all living through one big storm But only some of us are getting wet Only some of us will be reborn some of us are getting struck down Some of us can barely stay afloat Surely some of us are going to drown It all froze over, turned to snow I find myself slipping off It all froze over, don't you know I don't think that it's going to stop We're all living through one big storm but only some of us are getting wet Only some of us will be reborn And some of us are getting struck down Some of us can barely stay afloat Surely some of us are going to drown I'm Chris. I'm the Natty Guy. And I'm Luke Paul. And I'm Zarch. And what are you guys listening to? Detroit, Detroit State, State of Mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. And we're back. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Just for editing. Gotcha. There you go. Excuse me. I'll light a cigarette and take a pee. You guys talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Perfect. Yeah, one cool show we got coming up. Uh, our band Stage Drive is opening up for Striper. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, in yeah. September. They were like the, big in the 80s, right? Uh, 80s, early 90s, yeah. Okay, cool. They still have a huge following, though. Yeah, they really oh. do. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know them. I don't really? think they do all the yellow and black stripes anymore. No, like they, they do. Used to. That's on do the they really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's literally what they're posting. Dang. That's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. I'm pumped. Yeah, it's Christian hair metal from the 80s. Yeah, I'm going to. They're going to be weird. Band? It's going to be weird. Big time, yeah. Oh, I didn't know it's that. It's gonna be weird. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be super weird. Nah. <laughs> Considering that half our band is gay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know. think it'll be an issue. No. <laughs> Hopefully not. You know. Who cares? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun if, show. If I'm we excited. die, we yeah, die. It'll be fun. <laughs> cool. We get to die. <laughs> I heard they're great guys. 
I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure they're so, great yeah. guys, but like the crowd is probably split 50 50 on that stuff. You know, most yeah. of them probably Maybe. aren't uh, hardcore into that part of the band. Okay, I hope so. Yeah, you know, they've toured with everybody. So okay. Mm-hmm. They might be the cool Christian people. I think they toured like, with Guns N' Roses so once. So. Oh, really? Yeah, they're not that hardcore. Yeah, oh. okay. My buddy has a Bible from one of their shows, and he he holds this like very highly praised. Yeah. I, I mean, wow. a striper, yeah. I would, they're great I would musicians. pretty highly praised, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not a... 80s hair metal guy. I love 80s hair metal. Oh, me too, That's girl. My shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So you said you're opening up for Striper, right? Yeah. yeah Name I'm one sorry. Striper song. Don't put me on the Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quaking in your boots. <laughs> See, I have an excuse. I fucking hate Hear me out. Hair metal. Hear me out. I love 80s hair metal. Uh, oh my God, your mic actually looks like their whole. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. <laughs> so she's, just, she's, uh, she's distracting. Name a Striper song. Uh, I'm not distracting. I just said it. I can't. Name a Striper song. She yeah, admitted she didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and where the, where's the so, show at? Is uh, that like the, the Token? Music Factory. Or, where's that at? Uh, Battle Creek. So we're actually playing there um, on the 19th, so next Saturday too. Nice. It's a week from today. So um, we're headlining, which is really cool, but we're playing with Frame 42, uh, SXX, 19 Till Dawn, and then Two-Face Wilson. Two-Face Wilson, I mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, it's going to be a fun show. I have not heard it. There's some good places in Kellogg to play in Battle Creek. Yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to be opening some new venue or something downriver, aren't they? Uh, Wine Dot, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, they're they're opening like a big venue, like that's supposed to be about the size of St. Andrews. And um, I literally you know lived there and did not know that old dance club is on Eureka. <laughs> it's been empty Eureka. for like years. It's like a <laughs> old <Shalom>. dance club. <laughs> you don't smell so good uh, yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's like a big ass building, and oh, they're okay. making it into a venue. <gasps> that's gonna be sweet. Yeah. So I used to work at BASF down there. Mm-hmm. Does this smell still smell like ass down there, or what? It's the quarry. Yeah, is I it? Don't think, not by me. <laughs> you must live in the nice part of town then. <laughs> I mean, I kind of live towards downtown Wind Up. This is like by like the Oak Bar area. Only when, oh, the, wind, only okay. when the wind blows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of near there, but like eh. downtown's nice. I just go yeah, to Jimmy downtown John's downtown. there all the time. Yeah. It's kind of like old school, uh, old houses and everything. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's really cool. It's nice, yeah. but I wouldn't say Jimmy John's is like the number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the that's thing. That's a freaking landmark there, there, baby. That's yeah. why I went there. <laughs> You know that wind up place? We you want to smell bad? Jimmy go John's. to Croswell when they're like cooking downtown sugar Detroit. Beets. I wouldn't be like, Ooh. oh yeah, that Sitka was really nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Used to be a really cool total right here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your tone right now. I like your tone right now. I don't now, get really give boy. a flying Whoa. fuck. <laughs> Whoa! It's about time crazy. somebody gave it meet back. Meet me in the driveway. Let's go. <laughs> Bike rack. Five minutes. It's on. <laughs> yeah, meet Bike you at the rack. Meet, <laughs> playground. Yeah, the three playground. o'clock. That's Monkey where we used bars. to fight in like elementary school. Oh, Bike right. rack after school, man. <laughs> <laughs> we used yeah, to the whoop some ass by you. monkey bars. <laughs> right. Yeah. Did you guys ever get in fights in uh, uh, school when you were young? God, no. I'm sensitive. Are you? No. Yeah. Not a fighter either, huh? Well, that's yeah. probably why you can't pick, put your guitar it's behind not your rev- back because you got guns. It's not professional wrestling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta wind it up yeah, like yeah, Hulk Hogan. Let me Hogan. wind it up, <laughs> old sonny boy. <laughs> you show him this one and hit him with this one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They'll never know. Right? Yeah, I never... Uh, did you get into fights? I can um, see you I was in karate. Ass. Elena looks like a fighter. I was in karate. Oh, I actually yeah. got my black belt when I was like 10. So um, You could whoop some ass then? So, no. That's why I'm not scared of shows. No. No, um, I didn't get in fights but like we sparred and stuff and i knocked some people's teeth out you know the crane out, and so. wax teeth wax out, out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> paint the that. fence off <laughs> that's funny i was in tongue sudo i was the floor. i was in tongue sudo i, I was a, a, was a yellow <laughs> belt is that the one up from white belt oh what, uh, what, yeah what, yeah whatever that one is i was sparring with a red belt and this motherfucker steps on my toe <laughs> and i quit right then and there in a spot it hurt it, it, toe swelled up like the size oh, of no I don't even like a whole foot, dude. Maybe he's more oh, sensitive man. than me. Like yeah. you can step on my big toe. I'm quote, a little bitch. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was getting those vibes. You know? <laughs> right. I was getting those vibes. Nailed it. Nice. <laughs> so mean. We're never gonna be invited back ever again. No, we're <laughs> after. Oh no. It's oh no. We're best friends now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> Elena is a two-time alumni now on the show. She yeah. is. She's the only person that's been here twice. No, Liam, Liam's been be... here twice. Oh, yeah, never mind. Who? I lied. Liam from Rabbit. Uh, Killing Pixies. Okay, well, uh, Stage Drive is going to come on, and it'll yeah, be three yeah, times. Yeah, I believe it when I times. see it. And then Tiger Lily's going to come on, and it'll be four times. And then and it'll then, be five uh, when and then our, our band, band comes on. Yeah, yeah. like, you know what? Then we will I'm put a plaque the of you on the wall. Yeah. Okay, if, employee I, could, of the if month. I get here five times, whether it's like 
whether I just show up or not. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get a photo just that post. You'll start yeah. getting royalty checks when we do. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just going to start showing up to all your other interviews to keep my Please street do. going. Please <laughs> do. Keep your street going, right? Just, yeah, just show up every weekend. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You're I, sitting in the middle of the band like, who's this? Yeah. That's just ignore her. Don't worry about it. Her. It's whatever. <laughs> She's got a streak going. Yeah. <laughs> I was really like, filing my nails. Like, yeah. Yeah. Painting your nails and yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, right? Just like eating pizza and shit. Reading a book. <laughs> she's just here. Don't even give a fuck. <laughs> they, go to, they go to talk to her, she puts her hand up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm, it's in your turn, sweetie. I've been here five times. <laughs> yeah. I'm not here for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here for me. That's funny. So if you had to pick a band... Any band in the world to open up for or have them open up for you. Hold on. Oh let me, my God. Let me answer for Kayla. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, let's go. You've seen her yet? I, I love Joan oh. Jett. Oh, God. That's I not you better hurry. She's she, getting... Uh, I know. That's what I'm saying. If I... I will die happy we'll be rolling her out there soon. I can either open for her or like play a show with her or be on the same bill as her. I will die happy. Like yeah. that is my number one Yeah, thing. I love Joan Jett. Too. You know what yeah. I've realized She's too? Awesome. Like, like if you've never seen her live, whatever... I've I've never saw Tom Petty. Mm-hmm. Love Tom Petty. Dead. Never mm-hmm. saw Black Crows. They're, I think, done as far as I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, no, didn't they so just tour like two years ago? The Black Crows. Yeah. Uh, they still tour. Okay. Well then, regardless, I've never seen them. <laughs> yeah. I, I never saw Motorhead. Oh, there's a lot I've of bands I've never like saw. Dude, times. Or like Motley Crue. That would be so cool. Oh, yeah, it would have been in like 1984 or something. 88, probably at their yeah. prime. <laughs> I'm I, seeing them this summer. I'm like, oh boy. Joan Jett's on the death I know, I'm Joan going Jett to see poison. her. I want to go to that so bad, man. I've Poison? had tickets. I'm so excited. They're all on the same thing. Yeah. yeah. They're on the same bill. Joan Jett, Poison, Def Leppard, Motley Crue. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that supposed to happen two years ago? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, of COVID. Then, and then they Be a kept good people watcher, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah it's all the summer. old mullets walking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but everyone lost the COVID way. They'll all be skinny and buff. Yeah, there you yeah go. right? There you go. <laughs> Lots yeah, of sunstroke. Is it at Pine Knob? Yeah. Where is that show, anyway? At Comerica Park. Yeah. Yeah. Which really? Is, that would actually be yeah. a really cool one to play, too. I've I never seen a show there. No, America would be I. fun to play. For I, yeah. Sure. yeah, I haven't either. This will be my first one. Yeah. I think it'll be fun, though. Okay, what about you? Oh, me? Oh, yeah. I'm next. I we were Wait, did you skip like, right over Keelan? Or, yeah. I don't <laughs> exist. I was just, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, my God. You've never seen Motorhead? No. Wow. I know. <laughs> Dang. I'm useless. Okay, Keelan. Am Keelan. I going? You got okay. the spotlight. This is a hard one, guys. <laughs> I'm like torn. I really like Greta Van Fleet. People have mixed emotions about them. Yeah, some people hate them. Yeah, I know you probably don't. Bullshit. Like them. <laughs> yeah, some people like them. Some people I don't. I like them. I like them. Um, and another one, Rival Sons. I Rival really Sons. Yeah, yeah Rival them. Sons would be cool. Yeah. Rival yeah. Sons are like the better Greta Van Fleet. I've seen them twice. That's now. That's a two piece band, right? No. No, that's uh, that's Royal Blood. Royal Blood. So yeah. Rival Sons is shit that uh, we we we're we listed to. Yeah, yeah. That's they're a like badass folky band. rock. Yeah. yeah Did you hear their acoustic version of Wild Horses? Yes. Oh my god! What a it's voice! It's my do. favorite cover ever. I've listened to it so many times. I was at. What, I can build where it. was I at? I don't know. I just saw them. They came to concert, and I was literally like three feet away from the stage. Wow. Really? Oh yeah, it was nuts. It Did was you scream so cool. like a little Beatles fan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Jay, I love you. <laughs> I seen him open for Black Sabbath. At oh, I bet that was sweet. Dude, Black Sabbath. We actually cover uh, Paranoid during our set. That would That's be really. That's the first cool. song yeah. I ever learned. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're actually. That's how old I am. Rival Sons is opening up for Greta Van Fleet on St. Patrick's Day, and I'm going, and I'm oh, really, really excited. Yeah. That's sick. It's going to be so cool. I think St. Greta Van... St. Patrick's Day. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, yeah. The parade's tomorrow. Is it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I'm going Detroit. tomorrow. I literally blanked out. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Bring for <laughs> Yeah. Thank yeah. God you got uh, reminded. Yeah, I know. Greta Van Fleet would be a great band. Yeah. If... I didn't things. have to look at them. Yeah, well, they're kind of goofy looking, but if... The singer didn't sound so much like Robert Plant. I know. That's he, well, well, Zeppelin's my favorite band, so I kind of like them too. I hate fault. that fucking band. He <laughs> hates Pink Floyd too. Yeah, really? I Dirty hate Honey. Led Zeppelin. Oh, I love Beca- them. Because of the singer. I really? Think, I think they're a great band. John yeah. Bomb's fantastic drummer. Everyone else, great. Yeah. I just don't like Robert Plant's voice. Wow. And that's probably one of the reasons why I don't like Greta Van Probably. Because I really like Zeppelin. them. Well, even Robert Plant said, just leave them alone. They're great. Yeah, I like yeah. him. I think they're well, yeah. Robert Plant even, was even like, stuck up for him. He even was like, yeah, I know you sound yeah. like me. He's like, fuck David Coverdale, but these but you guys know, are cool. You know what is cool, though? These kids were fucking from Frankenmuth, man. I know. They're in the middle of no fucking yeah. way. Yeah. It's they, just Christmas year round. They keep and, climbing. And they're huge. Yeah. So you, you got to give them props. For I don't sure. know the whole story. I think they played like a few shows around Michigan and then 
Next thing you know, they're playing Elton John's birthday party. Dude, it's yeah. fat. <laughs> yeah. Dirty Honey sure. too is another one. Uh, oh comparable. yeah, I've heard about I them. I love Dirty Honey. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure where they're another from. better Greta Van Fleet. Dirty, I, I like <laughs> Dirty Honey, huh? <laughs> Honestly, they're, so they're really. Good. I know people have mixed emotions, but I really like them, and I think what they're doing is really cool. You yeah. know, bringing the whole rock thing alive for like our generation because there's yeah. you know there's a lot of rock bands, but we're definitely rock's not dying. Yeah, not on my watch. It'll never yeah, it die. Rock and roll never die. No, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad they're bringing not back as like as the '70s rock thing. Yeah, that's my wheelhouse, so. Cool. Every, everything come. Everything's like cyclical, you know. Oh like, yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. Elena, go. Yeah. Um. Okay. So Wu Tang Clan. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you open up the Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. There is a the Jizza, the Ghost Face Killer, and Elena. No. All my like <laughs> gay crushes. Um. Fiona Apple. Well, I love her. She's good. Her live. She's I've been so deep good. diving Fiona lately. She's good. Oh, she's so good. Um, yeah. Alanis Morissette just went and saw oh, her in August. Great so show. Good. Still, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's still doing the big show or is it? I mean, it's relatively big. She still walks like she like literally never stops walking her entire set. I don't know how she sounds so good. Like she's just fucking Treadmills. on the move. On the move, dude. She's getting her steps in. But yeah. um, is her forehead still that big or? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's had plastic surgery since then. <laughs> oh my so, god! They cut the, the whole top of her head off. <laughs> um, uh, honestly, I could see like stage drive. If we're talking like band wise, I could see us opening for like uh, like garbage. Um, I would say like something more alternative, rocky. I wouldn't. I know Kayla's all into the classic rock, but I'm more into the alternative rock, like you know, like the Yeah Yeah Yeahs mm-hmm. and like uh, they're good. Uh, Metric or Rilo Kylie, yeah, something yeah. like that. I think Garbage would be a good fit. Just saw them, too. That yeah. would be a good fit. Are they still a band? Yeah. I yeah. Don't know. Are, mm-hmm. they, are they still playing? Mm-hmm. Did they just, know that? They were just on that Alanis Morissette tour with uh, uh, that I went and saw in August. Yeah. They're no still shit. playing. Did not know that. She's one of the funniest women on the planet, too. Shirley Manson? Yeah. Yeah. You ever see her in Craig Ferguson? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go watch those episodes. They got it. You can watch it all in one block. She's mm-hmm. been on there like eight times. Those two together, they're both from Ireland and Scotland. They mm-hmm. start talking, and you got... Turn on the fucking subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what the hell they're talking. The but they're they're they hilarious like together. I don't like Craig Ferguson. Like what? I don't like Craig Ferguson. He's not funny oh, yeah. to me. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> He's the only night show host that's funny. Well, I'm in bed by then, so we're at the bar. <laughs> Like we could have our own show. We're pretty funny. I'm not funny at all, dude. Together, I think we complement each other very well. You know, it's the trauma Let's hear some and the sarcasm. Banter. Let's go. <laughs> what? Open oh your show. God. The trauma and the sarcasm yeah. tied together. Like it just, yeah, you know. I'm just all trauma. You're just all sarcasm and wit. And that's what I mean. Dynamic duo, baby. I'm just gonna I'm, drop. Yeah, like, both you could like, call too. it trauma yeah. and the clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Can I be trauma the clown? Like I'll like yeah. actually dress Tra- like a trauma clown. The like clown. one of those sad right. clowns, you know, like uh, like that Courtney Barnett video, or like um uh like what's that one puddles the clown or whatever that does all the sad oh, covers. The, yeah, I like where this is going. Talking about. Good, yeah. There you go. Yeah. And I'll just we'll like every now and then I'll just be like, oh, I fucking hate my life. That's all you do. Yeah, you don't need the clown makeup for that. The clown, you just all you do is go. <laughs> a sad horn that doesn't really work. You just mumble yeah. under your breath. Yeah. You know, like, we were talking people. about that on the way here. I'm like, if I can't end it, you can't end it. We're in this. We got to struggle together. Yep. <laughs> so now speaking of the talk do. show thing, if you guys think you're all so funny, make us laugh. Tell us <gasps> a joke. <gasps> <laughs> oh no! Thank and you. done. Thank you. And, and done. scene. And scene. Done. My anxiety did it again. Good job, Kayla. Okay, go ahead. Your turn. Am I telling a joke? Yeah. Apparently. Okay. What do you call a fish with no eyes? I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) I think my daughter told me that when I was little. That's great. Did you guys hear about the farmer that won the Nobel Peace Prize? No. No. He won best and outstanding in his field. The first one was better. (laughs) You should have kept it at that. That's pretty good, though. Why am I lost on that one? Outstanding in his field. He's a farmer. farmer. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) Actually, Stephen told me that, so I got to give him credit. You won with your first one. I would have just left it at that. You won. Yeah, okay. (laughs) All right. All right. (laughs) (laughs) People like that one for some reason. I got to make one up on the spot. Why'd the punk rocker cross the road? I don't know. He was stapled to a chicken. (laughs) <laughs> I don't think I've heard that before. What? I think. <laughs> um, mm, uh, 
What's the difference between a stack of logs and dead babies? Nothing. <laughs> what? I, don't have, I don't have a stack of logs in my fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh God! Good right. one. I just tried. I tried really hard. All I know are dead baby jokes. That's it. Oh God! <laughs> I'm sorry. What's the one about like getting dead babies out of a barrel? Something about using pitchforks for it or something. Yeah. Like that. Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! Like how, getting how, more and more dark. How many dead hookers does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. Apparently more than five. My basement's still dark. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> she started with them. Take a turn. She, yeah. <laughs> I, I was talking about fish with no eyes, and you're like, dead hookers. And <laughs> how, dead babies. Babies. how do you get a drummer to leave your porch? Wait, say that again? How do you get a drummer to leave your porch? How? You pay him for the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's going to love that one. That's oh genius. Oh, my God. How can you tell when the stage is level? I thought you had no jokes. All <laughs> well, yeah, she has a whole joke I don't She's like she Louie Anderson. I know, how to rip, I know how to rip on drummers. That's it. How do you know when the Good. stage is level? How? There's drool coming out of both sides of the drummer's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. That's a good one. What do you call a guy that hangs around a bunch of musicians? A drummer. Yeah. That's a softball. Oh. <laughs> wow. We love our drummer, though. Love you, man. <laughs> you know what's dumb? Drummers. <laughs> Let's do the break thing again. We're going to play some Keelan this time.
keep it casual and think about it too much Did it ever mean a damn thing? Was it me or am I just too much? Let's keep it casual, act like, like it doesn't faze me I thought this was something, call me crazy Favorite Starbucks drink? Go. Ooh, that's Ugh. hard. Literally, I love coffee. Um, Me too. That's hard. You're taking too long. Keelan, go. <gasps> White chocolate mocha. You got passed. You know what's good in coffee? Hmm. Coffee. <laughs> oh no! I, I, I want coffee without I want coffee. this much cream, and then like this much coffee. Oh, that ain't no buzz. Oh, I love it. Like this is just all freaking sugar. See, I go yeah. the other way around. I want to taste that coffee, man. Oh, I don't. Absolutely. Just, no. I It'll little, change as you get You older. drink your coffee Yeah, black. I'm sure. No. Are you one of those? I pretty much like it like Holly Berry. Okay. I don't know. Jesus the... Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> kind of mocha. Jeez, kind no, of. that took me a second. Mocha <laughs> chocolata. <laughs> I'm still oh sipping on this coffee from earlier. Did you, did you guys see the Batman yet? No. Oh, is it good? Zoe Kravitz is no. so hot. Oh, my God. Wait, who is? Zoe Kravitz. Does she look like her mom? I don't know what her mom looks like, but fuck, I hope so. <laughs> that means that there's two of them in this Lisa world. Lisa Bonet, you know, remember like the, the she was. I thought she was hot as fuck back in the eighties. Oh, she's on the Cosby I Show. I hope there's two of her walking was around she, because is she damn. The one married to J- was married to Jason Momoa. Yes, yes, she okay. was married to Lenny Kravitz too. Yeah, oh, okay, gotcha. Lenny Kravitz, hence Zoe Kravitz. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you should see it just for her, honestly. Yeah. She's so good. I can wow. just pull her up on like you know <laughs> Google Images or something yeah. like that. <laughs> Photoshop her in. She's right. attractive. <laughs> I think I did see a photo. She well, was the she, movie good though? Yeah, the movie was great, man. It's three it. hours though, so I mean, buckle uh, I'm, up. I'm down with that. Buckle up. I've, Get your I've heard work. yes, I've heard no. Uh, it's, it's haters good. gonna hate. Yeah. Well, does he, does he sparkle in the good. sunlight? <laughs> Oh, God no. damn it! He's open. super emo though. Like it's an emo Batman. Yeah, like, they play like a Nirvana yeah. tune in it. Um, they play um like a bunch. That is of, classic rock now. I know, man. That's fucking weird. It was really cool though. Like I think it was like something in the way that they played. Yeah, but it they was, do it real like dark, it real dark. And slow, slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was like a yeah. cover. Somebody else oh, playing it. No, it was, I, I no, really it was like Kurt. It, it was yeah. Kurt. It was Kurt. Oh really? Yeah, it was just like an acoustic version or something like that. Yeah, so good. But that is a great freaking tune. I want to see the Foo Fighters movie. Oh, me too. Yeah. Did you I, see the, the trailer for it? I haven't it looks seen the trailer, great, but I man. heard about it. Yeah. It yeah. Is it very a well horror done. movie? Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah like, it's about uh, a metal band. Yeah. What? And they're actually re- they're actually releasing a CD yeah. of all metal. One of those songs is out yeah. already. Yeah. What's it called? House 666? Six, 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 yeah. yeah. Or Studio 666? Six, six, six? Yeah, that's what Something it is. like that. They go to this old haunted house to make a record, I guess. Mm-hmm. Dave Grohl gets possessed yep. and kills the rest of the band. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, the trailer looks super cool, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. I but, was just watching Dave Grohl's, uh, what's that, like, Hot Wing episode? And yeah, he was, was talking was about it. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. And he said he was actually, like... He just wanted a house to record like his album in to get away from everybody. He's like, you know what? We should do like a shitty movie. Yeah. And then he's like, next thing they know, they're doing the tape, like they're reading the like the freaking thing. And then he's doing like, doing table turning- reads. Yeah, People throw yeah. money at him. Yeah, exactly. And then he's like, it's like a million dollar movie now. It's like an actual thing. Yeah. You ever hear his band right after Nirvana? It's called Probot. No, Mm-mm. it's Me really good. Super, super heavy. Probot. <laughs> All the singers are different. Guy from Sepultura and Celtic Frost and Venom and okay, uh, cool. Lemmy from Motorhead. And, huh. You ever listen to that album? No, I never wow. heard of it. So fucking good, dude. Really? Yeah. I wanted to, everybody's bugging to do another one. He said, "Oh, get around to it." <laughs> I think that bugs me about the Foo Fighters. Like every five minutes, I'm scrolling on Facebook or internet, wherever you see the fucking Foo Fighters, Foo Fighter, Day Grill. <laughs> like they're huge. Yeah. I'm getting sick of it though. Marketing. Hey, don't let it go. I just away. keep scrolling. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> shit don't bother. Just keep scrolling. Yeah. I, just, I don't know. I get sick of seeing the same shit all the time. Yeah. Which is good because I'm banned on. Oh, you sent me a friend thing last week. Yeah, and, I did. And friend I'm banned thing. on Facebook. For really? Another, yeah. <laughs> the, for like, I thought you just hated me. No, no, no. <laughs> no, he does. He does. But that's I, I get banned. I, no, I tell people I'm going to stab him. Yeah, he does. But that's just I told yeah, Chris I was going to beat him up on Instagram and almost got banned. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> No, I said I was going to drop kick him into next week, and I almost got okay, banned. Okay, what do you actually <laughs> to do to get it. banned from Facebook? People get banned all the time, but what do you have to actually do to get, like, So, I, I was banned all of July. He told somebody, shut up or I'll stab you. Uh, yeah, all of October. <laughs> okay. and, then, and then, yeah, I'm, 
All three times is because uh, I said I was going to stab someone. Oh, so okay. And I even own a knife. Do you need to talk about something? <laughs> I just have butter knives, man. Like, what am I going to do? Just it take forever. <laughs> it take too long to actually do damage. Yeah. As soon as I hit send, I went to reply to something else, and this big red exclamation mark oh comes up. I'm like, God. ah, fuck, man. Damn Facebook. it. I can't promote shit. I can't add people. Like, nothing. Oh, that, oh, that, that sucks. sucks. I could, like, talk on Messenger. Like, yeah. I'm like, this is stupid. Right. Yeah. You get, like, banned, what, for, like, 30 days or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Well, when you do add me back, I'm ready to see all the posts about stabbing. Yeah. Maybe. And then you get banned again. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I might threaten to stab you. Who knows? Awesome. <laughs> just, just from now on, use a gift. Just put stab. And there's a just like a little, little, just a little knife. A yeah, that should be your first post. There's a knife like emoji. A Shut up or I'll knife <laughs> Yeah. Emoji. And then tag me and see yeah. what happens. I'll probably get a 90-day ban or some shit. Or, or take oh, it yeah. off for life. For the visual. <laughs> Shut up or I'll Permanent emoji. ban. It'll be like the little knife and then the, what's the, what's the thing for the dick? Egg the eggplant. Egg yeah. Eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you all knew that. Yeah, why did oh, we all right. say that so quick? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, okay, so like boobs are cherries, right? And then, yeah, and then I the didn't know that was the butt. Peach, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that one until TikTok, really? the cherry one. Who made this shit up? Like, uh, I don't know. I, millennials. millennials. Yeah. Millennials. <laughs> this is all y'all's fucking fault. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a millennial. What am I? I'm a You're Gen, Gen Z. Z. You're yeah. Gen Z. I'm, I'm What's like the Gen difference? Z? I'm a millennial. Uh, Gen Z is superior. So. I was 99, oh. so does that like... Well, Gen X came in and just said, fuck you, Gen Z. Gen X is Z. Z. <laughs> I don't even know where I fit in because I'm 99. I'm 98. So. I never paid oh, attention. Gen what Z, are yeah. we? Uh, Gen X, I believe. Oh, that's why we don't give a fuck about nothing. Yeah, don't care. <laughs> yeah. Just rolls off the fucking back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we were all for people doing whatever the fuck they wanted a long time ago. I mean, I'm here for it, you know. But now, like, they're, that's tell- me now. now they're telling me that. <laughs> yeah, I was never that way. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I've never had a problem with Gen X. The boomers now. The boomers. Oh. <laughs> okay, boomer. Y'all gotta go. So a boomer, my dad. So that would probably be like our parents, I would think. Yeah. yeah. After World War II. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing so, yeah. Yep. All the Catholics were humping like bunnies. Like the old timey <laughs> uh, <laughs> beliefs and like, yeah. you know. Both my parents have seven brothers and sisters. Oh, those people fuck That's like rabbits, That's why they call boomers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wish the like baby the millennials boom. are Grandma like Grandma leaned back and said, boom! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one wants kids these days, man. No, no one. I'm no, more of I a don't. dog person or maybe like a gerbil or something. Yeah, I want or a dog. Fish. Um, I don't a want psh. a kid. I had a gerbil <laughs> joke, but I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I had a gerbil joke, too. <laughs> Go. Oh, no. <laughs> you can get away with this. that gerbil. I never wanted a kid either, but I wouldn't have it any other way now. Yeah. A lot yeah, of people I'm, say I'm that. <laughs> I was this close to getting divorced, and then I uh, knocked up my wife, or yeah, whatever, ex-wife now, whatever. So I got two. I got an eighteen-year-old and a twenty-year-old. Tw- uh, okay. And wow. I would uh, have it no other way, just like you said, man. I'd love the shit out of my kids. Yeah, I'm sure cool. if I had one, I'd probably think it was cool. But uh, right. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's nice yeah. to walk away, like, oh, hey, hey, little niece. Yeah, yeah, like oh, my bye. cousins. Yeah. yeah, I like having nephews. Fucking it's wind like, them up I on sugar and send them home. I can yeah. go back home whenever you know. Mm-hmm. Your problem now. Right. <laughs> I get to do all the cool shit. Like buy them the noisiest toys you can find. Go to the arcade and whatever, and then I'm like, I you gotta deal with drum. all the Play-Doh they want, all the Play-Doh they want. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the Play-Doh, all yeah. the slime. Legos. Oh, oh. Yeah. and you give them markers to say these are for the wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sharpies though. Don't let your mom tell you anything yeah. different. <laughs> Run with the scissors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like this. Oh god. You just said Play-Doh. Is it just me? It's like, does that stuff like smell like amazing? I love it. Does. That. Have you ever eaten yeah. it before? No. I, <laughs> okay. What? It's salty. I've wanted to. Man. <laughs> it's very salty. You, Did you know you can make edible Play-Doh? <laughs> Play-Doh's already edible. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, yeah, there's no, no way that. I like edible. the little Elmer's on it. It's not toxic. <laughs> That's what it means. It's paste. <laughs> Anything edible it means if you edible. believe. Yeah. It's Do they still make paste? I don't know. Oh. That stuff always smells incredible. I think they call it Mod Podge now or something. Or I don't fucking know. Paste is edible. I don't know if Mod Podge is edible. I used to put that. Was it rubber cement? Put it on my hand, peel it off. Yeah, like, oh, yeah that was school. fun. Yeah. We used to dip and you know, light your finger on fire. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's taking it one step far. I put myself on fire before. <laughs> have you? I prefer to not be on fire. You know, it's. Uh, oh. Would you ever do the yeah. the hooks and have them lift you up in the air? <gasps> my Ooh. friend did that. No. My no, buddy Doug does that. Maybe. Maybe. 
Ouch. He did it on his back. Maybe if I lost a little weight, you know, like well, just that would so hurt. there's less chance of like skin rippage. I just you know? can't see that being mm. therapeutic. Like people say it's therapeutic, mm. and I'm like, I, I'll I... stick to tattoos. I'm yeah, done. I'm gonna stick to no more holes in my holes body, in my face, not yeah. my back. Yeah. I did my tongue twice. That Speaking of not... which, where's that nine volt battery? <laughs> <laughs> you watch her jump. Hey, her eyes cross. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never, I've never seen somebody do it on a nose ring thing. Yeah. I mean, it has like the perfect. He had to be warmed in, Chips. Blame and Rich. Super loud, isn't it? Yeah. In it? In it? In it? In it? In it? I said loud, isn't it? Enjoy that jet engine heat. (laughs) We're taking off in five minutes. (laughs) And we just landed. (laughs) Welcome to Chicago. (laughs) Are we distracting you, Dave? Yeah. Sorry. This isn't important. No. We're being neglected. Yeah. No. The nerve. That's more important. <laughs> <laughs> I could have went bowling. <laughs> you could have went bowling? Bowling. I thought you bowled on Wednesdays. I could have subbed tonight. I suck at bowling. So do I, but it's fun. I'm pretty okay at it. I don't like the awkward walk back when everybody's looking. I feel like it's always awkward. I always have to do some kind of dance or something. Yeah, that's why yeah, I, I like that. Awkward. Fuck yeah. yeah. That's right there. That's what I do. This, I saw a comic. Somebody was talking about how awkward it is walking back from bowling. And they were like, it's so awkward when you cheer and nobody sees you. And you're just like standing there like, yeah. Yeah. Like, turn around. Nobody's nobody paying attention. That. Yep. Just turn around and Ric Flair that shit every fucking time. Like, woo! 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 Bell cheer. Bell cheer. I got one pin, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Good ball, didn't go in the gutter. <laughs> so I knocked you, over that dude's pins in the other lane. So you said you'd never want to be lit on fire, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good on that, yeah. you know. I'm going to stay not on fire. If you could pick one way to die, oh. would you rather be lit on fire or <laughs> drown? Fire. Oh. I don't want to drown. That's like a huge fear for me. Dude, I can swim, but... I want to be eaten by big cats. I have nightmares about cool. being drowned, like the water creeping uh, up. And like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, I feel like definitely drowning fire. would be quicker, though, maybe. I don't think drowning so. Drowning would be less painful. I almost yeah. drowned I mean, before it hurts. Too. Yeah. And drowning would be quicker. Yeah. Drowning would be I'm quicker. You're burning your, all of your skin burning off. Burning with and Self-immolation yeah. is considered like the most painful way to go. Yeah. Wait, oh. which, which way? Self-immolation. Self-immolation. Setting yourself on fire. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. God, like yeah, the, that all the monks like that do hurt. it and like they do it in protest and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. They set themselves on fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the most painful way to go, dude. dude. and those fuckers yeah. don't move, dude. Mm-hmm. That's like... That's how I want to go. That's intense, dude. That's how I want to go. Self-immolation. I'd rather just oh, like die that. in my sleep, take man. It all in. Yeah, like oh, yep, that's not. Yeah, that's the war. what I nah. want. I want to take a nap and then never wake up. <laughs> Could happen tomorrow. You never know. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that got dark. dark. That, that got did. dark quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help getting dark. Dun, dun, I literally dun, just got dun, the psych dun. ward like yesterday, <laughs> so no joke. <laughs> Oh god! Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the laugh really adds to so, it. So you almost yeah. didn't make it here today? No, I mean I was gonna make it. They only um they let us out on weekends. Oh oh. <laughs> I was gonna be here. They let you out like it's jail. <laughs> like you can't get out. Can't, can't miss band practice too. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I was um Dude, I was. She didn't in skip a, a beat. She didn't even miss a show that we had. Yeah. No. Yeah. I didn't miss any shows. Wow. Um, yeah, I've been I I have been off of like school and work and stuff. So it's like a weekdays thing, and like you get to go home at the end of the day. It's kind of like a. Like so you're on a, vacation, really, is yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, except for the really yeah. shitty food and yeah. like the mandatory group therapy sessions that I really hate, you know. Does group but, really work? Yeah, it's kind of. Or maybe there's some people that does. It's it's I'm some sure of them some. do. Some of yeah. them were helpful. Some of them were just fucking bullshit, dude. Like we did right. one on PTSD, and there was the like we were even talking about it afterwards. Me and some of the other people there because I made friends because that's what you do in the loony bin. You make friends. Make buddies. <laughs> yeah. Um, Add me on Snapchat. Yeah, I, <laughs> got a couple psych plugs game. now, so <laughs> no joke. I always come out of the psych ward with a couple more plugs. But um, uh, I run a serial killer fanzine. Can I hang out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyways, um, we were talking about, it and they're, they're like, "Yeah, just tell us your trauma." And then, like, we all just went around. And we're like, "This is oh, why God. we have PTSD." And they're like cool let's move on to the next group i'm like you're not gonna tell us what to do about it like you're just gonna tell us the symptoms <laughs> have us all overshare it. yeah you're yeah. just and supposed to just tell like, it and that's it have us all be like emotionally distraught at the end of the group without doing anything about oh, it God. like we're all just like crying and shit oh, and they're just oh, like no. yeah let's just move on to the next group you know thanks for sharing guys <laughs> it's like hey, hey i'm rich i'm alcoholic okay next yeah right yeah. <laughs> cool let's get a beer yeah <laughs> Nobody likes a quitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll meet at the bar after. An AA meeting at the bar. 
Perfect. Yeah. Genius. Because why? Say penis. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what you heard? I heard penis. Yeah. I said genius. Oh. I heard what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Somebody's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I got laid twice. Confirmed. Two kills. Two kills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least she didn't always say no. Well, I had to. Some, nah, well, never mind. We're not talking about me. <laughs> My kids are cool. Yeah, sometimes. Then they move out, then they don't talk to you. <laughs> talking to you. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> You're being neglected again. Yes, you are. Yeah, his phone's more important. Kayla has like abandonment issues, so you got to be like really gentle with I her. I do. What the hell? My buddy Doug <laughs> says you guys are really, really good. Thanks, Doug. Applause. Thanks, Doug. He didn't even watch a video, though. I guarantee it. <laughs> he just commented that to be nice. He just nice. saw what we looked kidding. like and was like, they're so good. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, so he just cool. likes chicks. Yeah. <laughs> or or so ladies, cool. excuse me. <laughs> Dude, that's one thing about... So I thought they preferred broads. I was just talking today <laughs> I mean, with my dad about this. Um, I, at a solo show, the one we played at Sparks and Labor, there was a guitar solo that I messed up royally. I was on top of a table and I hit my head on the freaking monitor, you know. Dark, but drink, drink, but drink. it wasn't oh, hard. But, <laughs> like malfunctioning. Like, right. But I messed up royally and everyone, I think like I got cut slack for sure because like, I don't know. I think females do get cut a little oh, more yeah. slack. Oh, oh yeah. Like I, if, if there's a guy. I wanted to ask that question. That's you guys bullshit, ever get a hard though. time for being girls? Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, we get yeah, a hard but... time, but then we also get cut okay, slack too. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Too. <laughs> no, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing is that people lower their standards for women in music like 100%. I don't fuck that. You know, you no know, way. yeah, but most people Sometimes. do. They're cuz it's like a novelty thing. Like you have yeah. a girl in a band, they're you're like, "Oh, cool, it's, it's not really anymore." Band. I disagree with that 100%. It's not as There's bad as many now, girls but I know play now as I do guys. Yeah. But like um what? I receive but from both sides. Like I get some slack cut and then I get some more mainly from like the older generation, I think. Yeah. Cuz they're like, "Oh, cool." Oh, and I no, think that's, dude, I get young guys really? all the time. Like I um went to this Oh, I went to Road Rangers. I went to this open mic once with a bunch of my guy friends who were like in a band or whatever. And I was like, I'm going to play. They're going to play. It's going to be cool. We're all going to hang out, you right. know, whatever. And uh, this dude, uh, I was, I, I got there first. So I signed us both up and he skipped me. They skipped me. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. They'll call me eventually, right? I'd be like, what the fuck, So dude? they yeah. call my friend's band up who I know was after me on the list, like by quite a bit. Because I didn't know when they were going to get there. Mm -hmm. And they're playing. And this guy comes up to me. The guy running it. And he goes, so whose girlfriend are you? And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? What? Right. Do you not see this guitar here? Like He's like, yeah. you know, whose girlfriend are you? And I was like, oh, I'm here to play. He's like, well, that's too bad. You know, we're cutting it off after they're done. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you fucking what? serious, man? Yeah, dude. I haven't gone back there since. Fuck that wow, place, yeah. son. Um, yeah, I don't want AP. Uh, there's uh, been times like... Uh, there's uh there's one girl that I'm friends with who played in a couple bands with me and she said that the sound guy has has even given her shit and been like oh it's nice of you to move your boyfriend shit for you or for him you know like stuff like that and like uh, I've had people be like oh you know I don't normally like female singers but you're okay you know and it's just like backhanded I've comments got, I almost shit like that it's almost always like it doesn't like age doesn't matter it's like across the board but it's yeah. always like I don't know just shitty like stinky that's bullshit yeah. crusty men like it's always like the worst men that do it you know oh, like yeah. the ones that like smell bad and like that happens <laughs> to me at open mic all the time i'll be setting my shit up and they'll walk up to steven first and be like hey you're the host and i'm like standing right there i'm like i literally post yeah no me. bitch i it's am it's fucking me right there's not a lot of open mics that are run by females so they automatically think it's him and i'm like Hi, I'm here. Well, did they I walk up this. to me and say, nice to meet you, Keelan? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, I literally post my picture with like the open mic sign. So yeah, yeah that gets annoying. Yeah, I think I receive it from both ends, though. Oh, um, yeah. And I'm honestly not sure which one bothers me worse. Like, either yeah. receiving slack when I know that I don't deserve slack. Like, oh, I yeah. don't want slack. I want to be held to the same, like, expectation mm -hmm. as any other musician, you know? Like, I don't want to be known as a female musician. I want to be known as a musician, you know? Right. right. But you so, also don't have to be, like, cruel, you know? Yeah, like, like also yeah. don't be mean because I'm fucking sensitive. But don't give me slack because I don't See? deserve it. <laughs> she is a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's not because I'm a girl. I'm just fucking sensitive. Like, don't but, be know? rude, but just, like, you yeah, know? right. Like, if yeah. I suck, I suck, you know? Oh, right. there's camaraderie between but, musicians, you know? too. You know, you're like, you fucking 
fucking blew that solo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, you How were was on the rest I told of it? you. Yeah, I, was I like, told you. I was you like, told me. You blew that solo. And I did, but it's like, I was like, you know, it happens, right? But then there was other people that were like, that was fucking awesome. And I'm like, man, no, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't listening, were you? Yeah, I'm like, you weren't even <laughs> listening. You got earplugs in? What the fuck? They were really drunk. Like, it happens, though. But I still, yeah, so I'm not sure which one bothers me worse, honestly. Like, the slack definitely bothers me because it just, it's like, it makes you in your head, you know, that like you don't deserve the slack. So it does bother me. That mm-hmm. probably bothers me worse. Yeah. Yeah. I don't but know. It's at like, the end of the day, it's probably got to make you stronger. You're like, you know what? Fuck those people. I'm going to do oh, what yeah. I fucking do. Yeah. And I'm going to rise up I mean, it and did. screw them, dude. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. what I do, boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to play some more music. I can't believe that shit's still going on. That's, that's <laughs> fucked that's up. That's crazy. I guess you got to be a girl to experience it. <laughs> I am a bitch. He is a bitch. Yeah. I'm for sure. I don't bitch. get slack. Nice, Ryan. I sneezed. Oh, I'm not allowed to sneeze. <laughs> this song is called um, Ghost of You. I've spent years chasing after your silhouette. Only to find that I've become. I still drink your paint, smoke your brand cigarettes And I don't want Cologne to forget How could I forget, how could I forget How could I forget, how could I forget How could I forget, how can I forgive
words What more can I do? from 101 WRF. Well, in this crazy, pretty much fucked up world, it's good to know that when I want a little bit of sanity and some crazy, crazy talk, I could tune into the Detroit State of Mind podcast. And I feel, I've, I, I feel like I'm high. It's awesome. <laughs> Woohoo. All right. How much more we got to go here? You guys got band practice in a half we hour. We do got band practice. <laughs> in a half hour. So we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, get out of my house. Pulling it together. <laughs> Truly appreciate you guys coming out and playing Thank for us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for, for having real, us. For real, it was beautiful. I Thank you. really Thank enjoyed you. it. I, I can't think, wait to hear a mix on it. I still think you guys should start a three-piece acoustic band, though. Oh, I would yeah. love to do that. I'm not saying you shouldn't do the punk thing, but... Oh, yeah. The punk thing. I will always do the acoustic stuff, no matter what. If, even if I'm in a band, like I love the acoustic stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, even when I started working in uh, the rocks, you guys are drinking and we're like... Not, never mind. Wait, what? what? <laughs> There's a thousand jokes in there, man, but I can't say none of them. I have no idea what's happening right I now. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should do a Crosby, Steals, and Nash type thing. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Yes, it would. Yeah. Three-part yeah. harmony with mm-hmm. you girls. Mm-hmm. But original, <laughs> original oh, songs, though. Will I've always Star wanted to do the do Wait by together? the Band and do the harmonies in that with like a group of people. I thought that would be so You come cool. out by like, me, every band does the Wait. Really? I like that song. Out of all the songs you played today, I liked your uh, original song the best. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you need to do more of that. Everybody says that. Then that was do the it. first song I finished and was like, I'm going to sing this in front of people because I always half write songs mm-hmm. and it's always half assed. Well, you got these guys now. I know. They forced me to. They'll never like, be shy to ask for help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you in a la- relationship right now? No. Get in one. <laughs> And then get out of one. Get your heart broken. Oh, I have so much material for breakup stuff. Like that's what that song was about. Well, chop chop. All my songs. About that I could shit. write a whole fucking album about that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm the only person that is in a relationship out of all three of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Y'all single bitches. You know, I'm, 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 like, I'm a single bitch yeah. too. <laughs> We're all single bitches. It's okay. Yeah. I, I like being single right now because I can just focus on this. Uh, and I don't I have anybody distracting me. I dislike being single, but you know. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool to have Don't somebody, rush it, Kayla. I'm not. Man, I'm never rushing it ever again. I like my situation, yeah. so I can't you complain. You have a good situation. Yeah, you got a good situation. thing going. I have a you good thing you're going, lucky. man. I yeah, you told us going. last time your, your deal. Shout yeah. out to yeah. Russell. Yeah. Yeah. You basically do whatever the fuck you want, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where do I find one of Sometimes being alone gets addictive, though. Yes, I I do like my alone time, for sure. Oh, yeah, I do. 
And then like being a musician too, you have to find somebody that's cool with you being on stage, getting the musician attention that you get. Yeah. You know? And so you got to find, like yeah. I've been in a situation where like I was with a guy that was not cool with it yeah. and it just, it is not going to work out because I'm not going to give up my dream for your dumb ass, you know? So. Right. Exactly. I have the same problem. People give me so much attention when I play. I know. It's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting dudes off with oh, a stick. Oh God. It's... Start a line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Line up, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> now serving number 12. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're going to say goodnight. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have any plugs? Oh, yeah. Plugs. Uh, we right. have a show March 19th. Wait, when is this coming out? Two uh, weeks from Friday. Yeah. Two <laughs> yeah. weeks from Friday. No, it'll be that, a week from next Friday. Yeah, that show will be gone. Next Friday. Uh, okay, we're opening up for Striper in September. Um, our single Praise just came Jesus. out, Ego. Praise Jesus. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be a really cool show uh our last single ego just came out um and we have a new single that we are going to finish on wednesday i believe do, do we have to watch seven days of videos uh like uh, hey yes. oh hell yeah okay, every perfect. day yeah. hell yeah yeah they were yeah. actually funny videos man they're they're, thank you, thank they're, they're, you. they're cool mine was the best by the way mine was the best yeah she's like hey we're making a video i'm like bring it <laughs> let's do it <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. um uh and then i have a solo show well this won't even be out then so it doesn't matter yeah but, what night yeah. is your uh, open mic? Every Thursday night, 7 to 10. Mr. What? Nick's Bar in Trenton, Michigan. Trenton? Trenton. Trenton. Say Trenton. I always say Trenton. Trenton. What's up, Trenton? I grew up there, Trenton. Yeah. It's not Trenton. It's Trenton. Oh, got shit going on. Uh, Are we boring you? No. Is it nappy time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and oh, practice time, baby. <laughs> plug my show. Do you have any solo stuff coming up or just stage drive um, stuff? Or, or, or any Tiger Lily stuff? Um, so Tiger Lily we're Speaking still- of which What's going on with Tiger Lily? I, <laughs> oh, I don't mean to, I don't mean to keep going on <laughs> He just rapid fire questions um, So yeah. okay So I, I, I don't I don't know what was going on With Tiger Lily The last time that I talked to you But um, we fired our drummer He was a fucking douchebag He's probably gonna watch this Because Perfect been, We're not <laughs> editing that out stuff. Good Good <laughs> um, He was a fucking douchebag um, And um, I mean he was like An okay person But he was just like Really douchey sometimes I didn't really want to work with that And um So we got a new drummer So we're um Redoing all the Old material And um We're working on a couple new songs We're working on like A whole cover We're working on a new song That's a little bit more like Doomy So we're kind of like Mixing a bunch of genres Like we're doing punk We're doing alternative We're doing like Sort of sludgy stuff We're doing all kinds of shit Have you heard Have you heard the, Uh Tiger Dude Check it out dude there was one track, but I got pulled down. He made down us or pull it down. He's like, "Well, it, if I'm not in the band good. anymore, then you can't use the track with my drumming on it." So I was like, "Okay, well, oh, fuck Jesus, you then." Man. Yeah, you know? whatever. Yeah. We did it every time we fired somebody. We'd have nothing on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're, on, we're on. Yeah, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. You know, so just stay tuned. You know, um, yeah. we're probably gonna be booking shows in like late spring, early summer. We've gotten a bunch of show offers already. Like people are like, "Hey, come book, come play the shows." What I'm about like, St. Clair Shores? Not ready. St. Clair Shores. I mean, we'll do it. Yeah. Your house, yeah, fuck yeah, we'll play at your house. <gasps> house show. Our drummer right now is house so cool. Show. He's a prog house drummer, show. so you know I have a party every summer. Like the, when uh, you played here for the hormones, yeah, you guys should play here. All right, ma'am, in. And then we'll just make a show of it. We won't even tell you. There, there you go. go. <laughs> I'll but open we'll up for you guys. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'll do my acoustic set. <laughs> right. Yeah. And now we need a plug from you guys. Yes. Um, I'm so and so. I'm so and so. I'm so and so. I didn't you're, get you're to l- say my show. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, you oh did. I thought- no, I have. I have other shows coming oh, up. Oh, 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 sure. oh go yeah. ahead. Sorry. March 25th, I'm going to be at the Armageddon Beach Lounge in Detroit. Woo. Uh, Chris is going to be there too, I think. Yeah. And then Julia, who was supposed to be here, but she is not. And then April 22nd, they're doing a Wine Dot uh, All Acoustic Crawl, which is going to be cool. And all the fundraiser, like the, all the money, is going to go to this fundraiser for the Downriver Foster Closet. So nice. Yeah. Sweet yeah. acoustic crawl. Yeah, so like every it's bar like, is gonna have lots of sandals and bands. patchouli. It's literally nice. gonna be all acoustic acts, which I thought was really cool. At yeah. different bars, though, right? You yeah, there's five different around. bars. I'm gonna be at Wind Up Beer Company. That's cool. Yeah. Fuck. I'm Dave, and he's Rich, and thanks for tuning in to the Detroit State of Mind podcast. Join us again next week for more shenanigans and probably a lot of fucking swear words. Good evening. Sleep tight. Don't let the fucking bed bugs bite all that other good shit. The Detroit State of Mind Podcast. 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 You. I wish they'd play my band. I doubt it. Fuck you.